Yeah, we need it. Like it. We need it. Water. Water. Love. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, I don't know if you noticed last week, but um, there wasn't much cooperation happening last week. Did you notice that? So, so what I mean by cooperation is, I'll give you an example. I said to a group of to all of to all of you last yeah. week, underneath this hay we wanted to put the decomposed hay. Remember? Yeah. So what we did is we, I said, there's the decomposed up, hay up the hill there. We want to bring that decomposed hay down there. And what I did then was just observe uh -huh. what happened. What happened? Remember what happened? People were running up with arm loads, coming coming down with arm load of hay, dropping it, going back up with an arm load, and then they were laying it down here and then going back up with an arm load and so forth. Very slow, eh? Yeah, well, I think a lot of us were getting the wheelbarrow and just filling it up and having yeah. it up. Some, yeah. Somewhere. Yeah. There was actually yeah. another wheelbarrow up by the house, by the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but nobody asked whether there was another wheelbarrow. Yeah. Or, or even uh, used any initiative there. Yeah. And, and so what happened was, what could have happened is we could have four people just focus on wheelbarrow up, wheelbarrow bringing all that hay down. But we didn't. Why is that? Why didn't that happen? Well, isn't it possible too yeah. that we were actually, uh, this is, I was trying to connect with my own feelings. And while I was doing that, I wasn't, uh, I wasn't doing anything else. And then I did a bit of this and a bit of that in cooperation, but yeah. Nor, what Nora brings up is something I want to talk to you about, mm -hmm. and that is that we what we often do is we don't finish jobs. Yes. We go from one job yes. to another job yes. to another job yes. to another job yes. for emotional reasons. Yes. Uh -huh. You see, what happens is one job starts triggering us emotionally, yes. and we don't want to get triggered with that emotion. So what we have a tendency to do, to do is put that job down and go and find another one that doesn't yeah. trigger us in the same way. Does that make sense? Yep. And so, and so what we finish up doing is we only engage the jobs that have little effect on our emotional life. So when we started rolling out the hay, for example, and laying it over the top, quite a number of you disappeared there. Mm -hmm. right? What was going on there for you? There was a fear, some fears come up. What were those fears? The smell in the mulch. The smell in the mulch. You felt that there were spores in there, couldn't handle it. You get hay fever, get a bit of maybe asthma, you know, like we have all, all of those are emotions that are triggering all of those responses. Right? And yet someone else has to do the job anyway. So and someone else has to do the job, and it's only the people who don't have those emotions who finish it up yeah. doing that job. Does that make yeah. sense? And yet that's harder because now there's only a small group of people doing it rather than a larger group of people in a cooperative way. Yeah. Do you follow me? Yeah. And so what's, what's happening a lot, and if you, you can notice this more and more, we're actually not thinking logically. We're not arranging things in a logical manner. And a lot of the times it's, it's got nothing to do with nobody telling us or anything like that. Yeah. It's got everything to do with what job do I want to do? What job do I not want to do? You know, and these and there's all these emotional issues involved with the selection of these jobs. Do you mm -hmm. follow me? Yeah, yeah. Now that's what impacts upon the ability of the group to perform a job in an economical manner. Now everything you think about God, everything God does is the most economical thing every time. We don't do that because we've got emotions in play every time. Mm -hmm. And so what we do is we have we don't have a nice consistent workflow most of the time. We do things in very haphazard manners most of the time. And the more people you add to the job, the more haphazard it becomes and the more wasted time there is. Mm -hmm. Now what we need to do is start thinking about things in an emotional manner as to what emotion is stopping me from working something out here. Right? So, so for example, all of us knew that there might have been one or two wheelbarrows. All of us knew that it would be good to have the wheelbarrow just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, bringing down all that mulch. And yet, many of us, none of us suggested that we would be that person doing that thing. Mm -hmm. And none of us actually engaged the process, but many of us... Cardi did. Cardi did. So, but many of us, what many of us did was we started to 
like go and do it ourselves sometimes even out of frustration yeah, yeah. like I i'm just that. standing around here yeah. waiting for <laughs> yeah. you know and and the mulch not coming yeah. down i want the mulch to come down can't somebody else do that and then and then yeah. uh, that kicks in and then we start oh i'll go up and get a handful now the truth is we could have just started digging another hole but you see, we didn't want to dig the other hole because mm -hmm. we'd already dug this one and this one, you know, and, yeah. and there's all these emotions in place straight away. And straight away, what was going on was there were projections back and forward going on of why isn't this happening? What, why isn't this more organized yeah. and all those kind of things? Mm -hmm. And yet we all had the ability to, to take control and organize the whole thing if we yeah. wanted to. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. And yet very few of us decided to. Of course, and what happens then is everything just slow. and I don't know if you felt it last week, but everything slows down, and you get that feeling that, oh, you know, now everything is quite slow, we're not really getting much done now as a group, and it's not about getting things done so much, but it's about connecting to the emotional reason why we're now in this space where there's a group of people standing around waiting for a few people to do something, and but yet we're not continuing in a workflow pattern. Mm -hmm. One of the other things I noticed a lot last week was, you know, how our swales were about like six feet long or so, and foot, foot and a half deep or so, and a couple of feet wide, right? So one person gets there digging, digging, digging. Another person helps joins them, and they're both going away at, with a with a mattock, right? Now straight away you're in close proximity mm. with a mattock. Potentially, mm. that's fairly dangerous, yeah. isn't it? Like, yeah. so now, now what's that? Now, why do I have to do this with another person on the mattock at the same time? What's going on there? What causes that emotionally? Wouldn't it actually be more practical if one person just stand next to the hole? The person on the mattock goes for the hole until they get tired. Now, usually it's within a minute to two minutes you will get tired if you're on a mattock and you're digging mm -hmm. as well as you can. Mm -hmm. Within a minute to two minutes you'll get tired and you'll need a breather. Right? Yeah. You can just hand the mattock to the second person, step out of the way, and the second person chips away. And when they're tired, the other person will have... There's a snake there. having a rough day today so. and, and so what happens is that the second person then can take over the job chip away while the first person has a rest and that's a pretty loving way of actually digging the hole you're now a lot safer everything's working with a bit more cooperation mm -hmm. yeah. now why didn't we automatically go into that mode? Mm. Mm. Peter and I actually did do that yep. for a little bit. Yeah, for I some of us it's ego. Yeah. What, what do you mean by ego? Can you be a bit more? I've got to do a good job. Yeah, and I've got to own it and yeah, it's mine. My hole, yeah, my hole, whatever. And yeah. I've got to show that I'm working hard and yeah. I can work hard. There's another emotion? Um, um, I don't want to stop. Do a better job. Yeah, I feel guilty if I'm yeah. standing there watching somebody yeah. dig. Yeah. Yeah. Big emotion. Yeah. Right? Big yeah. emotion. How many of you can't bear watching someone else work and yeah. you have a rest? Yeah. Yeah, big emotion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Any other else? No. Um, I put my hand in. <laughs> All right, so feeling that people are waiting for us, I've got to get yeah. this job done, yeah. Amen. You know, and we've got to do it as fast as we possibly can, okay. rather than as lovingly as we possibly mm -hmm. can. Yep. Approval. <laughs> Approval. approval. Yeah, yeah, looking for approval. Yeah. yeah, I'm just sitting here watching you dig. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we swap over. Yeah. Sooner or later, one of us is going to be seen looking like this. Yeah, yeah. And then like, geez, that, that, so you you're pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> 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 and then we get a bit of judge. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's like the council's the council job where it could be, when you drive and you see them looking like this, yeah. you don't know yeah. what they were doing five minutes earlier. Yeah. You have no idea. Yeah. You go, there, there you go, yeah. another council yeah. worker. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. If I keep busy, I don't have to feel. Yeah. yeah. Keep busy, I don't have to feel. Yeah. What else? There's also an emotion of, I, I want to have someone share this bad okay. experience with me. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it's good experience. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That's good. But sharing of experiences <laughs> yep. causes us to actually detune from our own emotions mm -hmm. quite strongly. Yep. Yeah. 
because these are all emotions uh, that are yeah. interfering with this logical, with our logic. You see, inbuilt within us, we have all have a logical way of thinking that's all there ready. But unless we engage it through by actually looking at the emotions that impede our logic, we will find that we'll do lots of illogical things in the course of the day. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, how many of you have had a habit in the past of leaving jobs half done and having to come back to them the rest of the day and so forth and so forth? Yeah? And that is about emotion. So what you want to do is you want to feel the emotion of the job you're doing and why, what it's triggering inside of you instead of walking away from it. So begin the job, engage it, let yourself feel it and then feel what, what's going on inside of me that now what, I want to go and do that job instead. And when I first met Mary, she, she had about a 15 minute job attention span. So you could go from one job to another job to another job and, and the worst possible job for Mary was pulling out Mother of Millions. <laughs> that was the worst possible job. Because what would happen is you've got a whole area of Mother of Millions, yeah, like, that, that's... For, 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 like, and we'll talk about the Mother of Millions in a minute, but we've got a whole area of it, and I'm there pulling out, pulling out, pulling out, and after about an hour, you get to do one square metre. <laughs> and then right. you look up, and all the other ones, yeah. go, I just want to finish it. <laughs> this is, and all the hopelessness. Uh, yeah. and, and all of this the so disillusionment yeah, just comes comes up. And and while it's coming up, I go, I just don't want to be doing this anymore. Yeah. Right? And that, so, we, so we don't. Yeah. So so what we've got to do is just stay in it. And then, so so... What I just encouraged Mary to do when she was doing that is stay in the job and feel yeah, the yeah. disillusionment that it's triggering yeah. in her. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Stay in it. So when you're there with a pick, stay in the job and feel the feeling that it's causing. And when you stop with the pick and hand it over to the other person and stand there next to them like this, feel the guilt that you feel. Yeah. Watching them and that, the feeling you have of I've now got to take over from them as soon as possible. That, that feeling that rises in you, instead of waiting for when they are tired themselves. You follow me? Yeah. Allow yourselves to feel more that what's going on. Last week I was constantly trying to remind yeah. you about connecting again with how you feel. This is opportunities to feel more, every single one of these. Every single one of these opportunities, like guilt, shame, all sorts of feelings are going to get triggered. And and just, just by doing the job, it's going to get triggered if you allow it to be. But see, what we're so intent on doing is doing the job, and we go into this out of body doing the job. Right? And in the process of doing the job and being out of our body doing it, we have no chance then of using this as an opportunity to feel. And we want to use it as an opportunity to feel. Yeah? And when we do that, cooperation will become more automatic with each other. We will look at the jobs that need to be done, and even things right down to what tool does that person need. You know, some of you, some of you may not find digging, to, you may find it pretty hard on your body, but you can at least bring tools to people, hmm. for example. There's all these kind of jobs that you can fit into place and still be a part of. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like, have you ever tried working with a tradesperson? Yeah. Has somebody done that? Like a carpenter? Yeah. And being, and being their assistant. assistant, or should we call them their labourer? Yeah. And if you do that, um, we can interfere with what the carpenter is doing quite a lot, or we can help the carpenter quite mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. Just by like looking ahead, what needs to be done, mm. passing the right tool at the right time, all of that kind of stuff, right? Yeah. You think about it in an operating theatre for a yeah. moment. The doctor's there doing his thing and he calls for something and it's right there in his hand. And a lot of times it's there in his hand before, before, he, calls before he even calls for yeah. it. Yeah. Because, because the other person is so in tune yeah. with what's needed that yeah. they're automatically handing him what's needed yeah. before he actually yeah says to them that yeah. he needs it. I have yeah. actually learned to do that for Klaus because he knows so many things I haven't got a clue about. Exactly. But it took me many, many years to step down from my arrogance. Yes. 
and it's really beautiful now. Yeah, that's right. We, what can happen is that then the people who do know, or the people who have the energy, or the people who have you know the strength or whatever, mm -hmm. can then be aided in doing their job. It's the same with my workers who have longer endurance than I do yeah. to actually serve them. You know, with food or all sorts of things can be done, can't they? And I found that really hard. Yeah. Yeah. And it is also a bit about humility when you think about it, because yes. it's about recognizing our own personal limitations and, being, and, and also serving to the best of those personal limitations yeah. and on them. So I still believe you should stretch your limitations, sure. but, but it's really good if, you, in a cooperative sense, if we can seamlessly work together. So for example, you now, most of you have done jobs many times. And also, since we've been here, you've been looking at how we prepare the swales and all those kind of things. So you know what is needed now, and yet there is still not cooperation with each other about achieving it. Mm -hmm. right? And if that's the case, then you've got to look at what emotions have got in, uh, are in play. Mm -hmm. that that? What are the emotions in play? Um, one A fear that people will judge you as, ah, yeah. oh, now she's, like, look what she's doing yeah. again. Yeah. You know, that's she's taking right. control again. That's, yeah. And she just yeah. loves doing that. Yeah. You know, like, and get put down for something that we yeah. actually think is just a logical thing yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah. There's so many emotions in play, you actually realise. Mm. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The truth is that somebody else who is comfortable yeah, using it. I'm feeling that I should be there already being able to do that. Yeah, exactly. And at the end of the day, um, we can learn a lot from the people who do use it as well. Do you know mm. what I mean? And, and mm. this is part of our learning process. If we don't engage the processes, you find you don't learn everything that you need to do. So, so around the property here, I basically, can, I, I know I can pretty much do everything. And, and the reason why is because at some point I wanted to learn how to do everything. And, and whether you're a woman or a male, it makes no difference. You can learn how to do everything. It's just whether you want to learn it. And you want to deal with the emotion, particularly the emotion of fear. Because when you think about it, cooperation is all about fears in play. I'm afraid what you'll think of me. I'm afraid, you know, a lot of it's about that. And if I, like, if I'm standing here watching someone else dig their hole, and other people come up, oh, look, you're hanging about a bit, aren't you? You know, like they'll make their comments, you know, as people do, and 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 I can say, I'm, I'm sorry, but no, this is very logical what we're doing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just feel it. <laughs> and, and if I feel bad about it, I can just feel it. So feel, oh, there we go. Somebody else attacking me again. Somebody else not understanding, attacking me as well. So the next time we come back to this part, which will probably be, won't be next weekend, but probably the weekend after, if we can put some of that into play, that'll be good. Next week when we're doing some of the things over on the uh, learning centre with moving the hay and feeding and all those kind of things, if we can put some of that cooperative thing in place, take notice, use your initiative, take notice of what needs to be done, and then set up a team of you who do that particular thing, helping the other team. Mm -hmm. yeah, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And in the end, uh, we'll get things done in a lot faster way. And a lot of times, we'll be able to, something that might have taken us all day collectively to do might only take us four hours, you know, half the day. We've got the rest of the day doing other things. Yep. Okay. Go for another walk. We're going down to the orchard now.
these two things going on. Now, if you bear that in mind, that would have meant that all of this area that now has cobbler seed going through it, that meant that all of those seeds were on the, in, the, in the soil already. They had to be in the soil. Yeah. No one's brought them onto the property, in, particularly to have been in such large numbers. And we've never had them grow before, ever. So, so they were actually in the soil already, just waiting to germinate under certain conditions. And we feel what will happen as soon as the cobbler's peaks themselves are actually replenishing what is lost in the soil. Mm -hmm. So we can actually help them if we know what it is that the cobbler's peaks, the conditions under which the cobbler's peaks germinate, then we know how to help them in terms of help the soil. So, so all the way through here, the cobbler's peaks have been helping the soil, and you notice there's different areas where there's more of them, and even behind our house, down a bit, you'll notice that just the whole forest is high of them, and hardly any other grass. And so in that area is obviously a very harsh area that the cobbler's pegs need to grow in order to fix up the soil in that location. Once the soil is fixed, they won't grow anymore. So just they will, what they will do is they'll have their last germination of seed. The seed will get spread over the ground again, and then the seed will lie dormant, and it might lay dormant for as many as thousands of years. Right? And it will just stay dormant, stay dormant, until such a time as the conditions again come where it, they're needed to grow. And then they'll just germinate and grow again. Does that make sense? Yeah. Pretty amazing, hey? Yeah, yeah. 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 AJ, is that also because of our soul condition and our intention and desire? To regenerate, to regenerate, yeah. yeah. See, if, see, if we had still farming cattle on here, or if we were still mm -hmm. farming goats or whatever, then none of the cobbler's pigs would germinate, all the cobbler's pigs would germinate, and they'd immediately be all eaten anyway. Mm -hmm. So they'd never get to the point of seeding. If they never got to the point of seeding, they'd never put their seed bank back down into the soil. Mm -hmm. And so you'd actually, that's how you exterminate different species, by actually having them germinate, but then rip them out before they seed. And, from the, and, and if you do that in a large scale, which mankind has done, you can actually kill off whole species of plants and animals and birds and all, all the different species get killed off very rapidly if we don't allow them to continue their life cycle. The beauty of allowing them to continue their life cycle is they're telling me, they're telling me what I need to know about the soil. While they're there, I'm, I can honour what they're telling me and I can actually okay, there's something here going on, I can discover the linkage. Now, this is where the mediumship would be very handy, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. You could talk to some spirit friends and say, well, what is the mineralisation of this soil? What is the particular thing in this soil that, that the copper's pegs are demonstrating to me? What are they putting back into the soil that no other plant can put back into the soil? Previously, <laughs> Previously just, I would have just pulled them out, not given it another thought. Yeah, just help it spread its own seed. And eventually what will happen is the seed won't germinate once it's complete. Once the process is complete, the seed will not germinate anymore. So, so did God just create the seed at one time, create All the seeds uh, have gone through a whole process of evolution like I described on the weekend. Yeah. Okay. And all for specific needs. And the evolutionary process for seeds, actually, the genetic structure of seeds changes over each generation as well, based on yeah. soil condition and what the environment needs. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a dynamic process. Okay. Uh, so a cobbler's peg might not have ever existed 3,000 or 10,000 years ago, but uh, it comes into existence through an amalgamation of the genetic processes that God's love yep. enables okay. and and a lot of times a lot of the parts a lot of the weeds we have now actually have come into play because of the um, the degradation of man's soul basically mm. a lot of these weeds weren't present until man's soul degraded enough where we needed to have these things recovering the land so we need to honor them you know 
Calcium? Okay, so so it's giving calcium to the soil, is what you feel. Um, I heard that the so indigenous people eat with them actually survive or eat the seeds as rice, like wild wild rice. Oh, um, yeah, Cobbler's Peak is edible and, and quite nice actually in salads. Mm -hmm. So, um, but how many of you have no calcium in your body? How many of you have to take calcium pills or? You know, like you think yeah. of osteoporosis yeah, is a major yeah. problem on the planet, isn't it? Yeah. Lack of calcium. So, so, so if, if calcium is the reason, then this is also going to fix your own body. The, be the beauty of all the plants too is they will grow for the people there as well. Mm. Yeah, we've been eating them in our salads. Just the flower? Or? No, just the leaves. Uh, just the leaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, but they're just uh, remarkable. One of the things that's remarkable is like, you know, they, they stick. <laughs> 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 and, and you can see why, like, the beauty of that is that is that they have some kind of longevity until such a time as the calcium problems are fixed in the soil. But I've noticed it's not just calcium, it's also the moisture of the soil. It has to be a certain level before they will grow. So, and now I feel what's happened up on our property is the moisture hasn't been good enough for them to germinate until this year, and then this year they've germinated and now they're starting to repair our terrible clay soil. So it's sort of going through this process. Now, if I burnt them all off or I ripped them all out, what am I doing? Giving God's blood back and trying to... No. Well, yeah, what I'm really doing yeah, is I'm stopping that entire process yeah. of regeneration of the soil through the plant and now I'm going to have to do it myself some other way. Yeah. Fertilizer, or, yeah, some, some, you know. It's some chemicals. Yeah, but the, like the, with the with the with the, the right moisture content to have the to have the plant grow, it would just die and it would just blow away. Mm -hmm. So the moisture uh -huh. takes the calcium back into the soil as well. Yeah, that's needed. Yeah. Well, it's like our body. We our body can't absorb calcium. Under lots of circumstances. Exactly. Yeah. And, and in fact, you, if you think about that, the soil is actually, a, the clay soils are a reflection of our own, our lack of absorption of, it, of our own calcium issues. And that is due to our own condition, our own soul condition, related to an emotion that causes our body to no longer be able to absorb calcium properly. So we need to address that emotion inside of us. And if I address that emotion inside of me, and Mary address that emotion inside of her, the soil will actually be aided to actually absorb the calcium that the and the whole thing of the plant growing is a part of that process already occurring and the beauty is like we won't have to add gypsum to the soil that we buy from some other place that's out of a quarry somewhere but rather this plant we just honor the plant and it'll fix up the soil for us now there's whole areas of our property yet that are too clay for even these to grow so I know straight away that if I've got the means, I can aid that bit of the property by adding some of the things that are missing, calcium and sulfur probably the two things missing, and, and into those areas where not even these can grow, and eventually these will grow in those areas as well and finish the process off for me. So we could have spread some of these seeds in the area where we dug the swales last week because that was pretty... Oh, no, that wasn't clay. They won't clay. They won't no, I'm thinking yeah. of up near the... But, um, but there are places today that I want to show yeah, you where it would temps. be very, very good for us to harvest yeah. some of those seeds yeah. and whack them in. Yeah. Quick question, Andrew. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yesterday you said that uh, instinct animals can come back. I was uh, wondering how... Well, come. that's a bit more difficult process and I'll go into that at another time. Okay. Is that all right? All right. Involves, involves a creation process that we need to understand and we won't understand generally until we're at one with God in that creation process. Okay. Oh, I can. Yeah. 
this is an interesting part of the property because when we began, when we just cleared this little area for the orchard, there were no big trees here at all. They were just like, um, basically, just they were wattles, and there were a couple of uh, of of um, iron barks that were only about sort of five or six or ten years old at the most. And so what we did is we went through here and just. A, went through the process of just clear, clearing those out and putting them down on the side so they'd leach around the edge. And then we, and the reason why we chose this area is because, can you feel the water running through here? Mm -hmm. it's, it's just like water running under the ground fairly constantly through here. Mm -hmm. The problem with the water running under the ground constantly though is that it leaches away the minerals, they all go along with it. So we get issues like with the citrus, where they're getting eaten by the butterflies a lot because they, they are actually deficient of some minerals and what we want to do today, part of the thing we would like to do today is for you to feel about what minerals they would be deficient in and using this, the bags that we've made up we want to bring some of those down here and have a team of you just going through feeling about each plant and just uh, the ones that are a bit sick try to feel about why they're sick and what's going on, what minerals are deficient of and so forth does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. AJ, do you do um, companion planting with your trees and things? In what way? Oh, um, I can't remember, but I know that I'm looking at planting some citrus trees at the house that I'm renting, yeah. and um, there are some canyon companion like herbs that you can plant with yeah. them that deter those insects and things. And yeah, but the put truth those... is that that uh, rather than see, this is where we go. We've got to be quite careful. You see, because if I plant the herbs around here that deter the the uh, the butterflies from it, from eating the citrus, yeah. then the citrus is not telling me what's wrong anymore. Yeah. But it's still going to be sick. Yeah. Yeah. Does that make sense? So it's still not going to grow very well. But now I'm not conscious of what's wrong. At least with the with them being eaten, I'm conscious of what's wrong. I can see them being eaten. I see them being attacked. There's obviously something wrong. And I know that's also, a, a, if you like, a feedback system for me. If I fix what's wrong, that won't happen. Mm -hmm. And and then I can still plant my companion plants if I want, but but if I focus on what's wrong, the cause of what's wrong first, that's the most powerful thing. So so be careful about a lot of the suggestions in, in current you know mm -hmm. ways of doing things because mm -hmm. a lot of it actually takes the effect away mm -hmm. without actually addressing the cause yeah. still. Right? We, what we want to do is address the cause. So let's look at the real cause of this. This is deficient in some kind of mineral, yes? <laughs> let's not say what it is at this point. You need to feel about that, what that might be. Right? It's deficient in some kind of mineral. And obviously my soul has also got some issues with this kind of mineral in terms of my, soul, my body's absorption of the same mineral. Mm -hmm. You follow me? Yes. Because my soul also affects how this plant absorbs the mineral from its at, from the atmosphere and from its surroundings. So my soul also has an issue. So if I was involved in mediumship here, what, what I would want to know is a couple of things. Firstly, what is the mineral that the plant is lacking? Number one. Okay. You can do some... Magnesium. Magnesium. So, so magnesium is the mineral. Yeah. What inside of my body, what emotion in my body is preventing my own absorption of magnesium? Fear. Fear is still in my body and affecting my bowel area in particular. Mm -hmm. And bowel is where it is the main, reason, the main way your body absorbs a lot of your minerals, right? Mm -hmm. And so because the fear is down here, and myself and Mary both have fear yeah. still, so because they're down here, it, it, it affects all of our citrus plants. So if you go around and look at all of our citrus plants, you'll find all of them are being eaten by butterflies. You, you understand? So I have to firstly work on my fear, number one. If I worked on my fear, I can guarantee to you, if I worked on my fear and we did nothing else, this will start absorbing magnesium. Right. There's magnesium locked up in the soil. There's magnesium locked up in the soil already. There's already a magnesium mm. in the environment. Why isn't the plant absorbing mm. it? It's my soul affecting mm. the plant. Does that make sense? Mm. So Matrix. this is where we need to start looking at the, the link between the true cause of the problem. See, if I go in part, see, the traditional would be try and distract the butterflies mm. <laughs> with mm. other plants 
or pri try to plant some obnoxious plant to the butterfly that the butterfly doesn't like very much mm -hmm. and so it doesn't attack your plant. None of that addresses the cause within me as to why this is happening to the plant. It's like taking vitamin C while you're smoking. Just do it. Yeah, so it's like you're trying to fix an effect that you don't know the cause of. So, the plant's missing magnesium. Imperative I deal with my fear, number one. Now, myself and Mary are both working on that. So, so while we're working on that, if I know this plant's missing magnesium, I know I'm missing magnesium, I know in the end when I fix my fear, this will all go away, what do I do in the interim? If I'm loving, I will replenish the magnesium in some way. Fix the but plant's after magnesium. After you're diagnosed? After I've also looked at the first cause, which is me, yes. as to what's going on. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so <laughs> many of us will have a focus with our planting that, oh, the plant's sick, we'll fix it up, we'll do this, we'll do that, what's wrong with the plant? But we don't look at the cause. Mm -hmm. The cause is the person who's attached to the plant, mm -hmm. not the plant. The plant, God made a perfect plant that automatically absorbs everything it needs if I don't prevent that from happening through my own condition. Yeah. They are like our children, yeah. They tell us everything, yeah. They tell us everything. Now the other part of this is that the reason why the butterflies are attacking this plant is not just because of the magnesium deficiency. It's also because in nature, what we've done is we've removed almost every plant that the butterflies can eat. Oh. Right? Mm. So what we want to do, these are, I think these are... Um, oh, big black butterflies. Yeah. They yeah. especially go on citrus. Very bad, yes. Yeah. Very what we need things. to do is find out what other things that were naturally occurring here that they could eat and plant some of them for the butterflies. That's what we also would want to do if we really loved mm -hmm. the entire environment. Mm -hmm. We don't want to spray the butterflies, rip off the, you know, rip off the caterpillars, take them away, all those kind of things. We're just stopping an entire ecosystem that's telling me what's wrong with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, they're only there because out of necessity. Well, they're there because of me. Mm -hmm. That's the irony. If I start pulling them off and go, oh, the bloody butterflies, you know, eating my citrus and rah, 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 what am I doing now? I'm, I'm blaming the system for my own creation. Yeah. It's the egg here. Yeah. That little white thing, it's the egg. That's where the butterflies lose its eggs. some citrus together, and some are attacked, some are completely non So, And I, I understand the fear and the bowel thing. I thought that really happening. Um, Yes, but I don't. It's like I was actually saying to Rana yesterday. Maybe I should actually label each tree at the time I planted them to see what I was feeling because they've all got something different going on. Yeah, yeah, and they will. A lot of them will have something different going. We didn't even plant these trees, yeah. uh, but I know that it's definitely related to our. Yeah. And again, if you want to plant canyon pearl, we have magnesium the canyon pearl that will yeah, help see. bring magnesium to the soil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that, yeah. Uh, as it breaks down, it'll feed the plant. Exactly. Yeah. But, but don't ignore the soul. You see, most of us, most of us would in, like just go, oh, you know, it's all this problem. We want, and we finish up ignoring the soul part of my own creation. And what we do is we fix it externally, but actually we're still not fixed it because we've still got mm. the soul part of our own creation here. Right? So, so have to the tree the might now grow nice and big and bushy because I've now fed it, overfed it with magnesium and magnesium and, and you know all of a sudden now we've mulched it and we've really looked after it and planted all these complaining parts <laughs> and now the tree's looking good and we say, oh now there's nothing wrong with my soul. Mm. 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 Which I'm is not true. I fix my soul. <laughs> it's just I've fixed the effect of my soul <laughs> without addressing the fact that my own fear created its lack of absorption. Once I deal with my own fear and terror, that will automatically absorb. Yeah, there'll be something else eventually that will pop up as a result because of overloading it with magnesium without addressing the fear-based issue. The fear-based issue is still going to affect the tree. It's causing all the trash. We'll bring something along. It's always going to have something come along. Yeah, always. Yeah. So as we walk down through the trees, different, you'll notice different trees have had different effects on them, right? So fish, mm -hmm. getting eaten by... Mm -hmm. 
second small stall on the one. And when, it, when it's many in one spot, then it's probably cabbage moss. Right. It's a big butterfly, what do you call them? Where's Nat? Come up here. <laughs> So our spirit friends, what are they telling you what's wrong? Aluminium? Uh, it is, it's the metal. Mm -hmm. yep. too, too much or not enough? So love herself is, is the emotional issue linked to it. Yeah. And myself and Mary certainly got some major issues with love ourselves, as I talked about with you on the weekend. So you know that's damaging the fig. And it's in particular, guess the person who loves figs the most in our No, it's actually Mary. So so it's probably more related to Mary's lack of love herself than mine at this point. Yeah. Does that make sense? She's the one who loves the figs the most. I can, I can have them or not have them, and they don't worry me too much. Yeah. So again now, what, do, what would I do to fix that? Of course, I have to work on my emotion first. Now, now if, I'm, if I'm really focused on the divine love part, the emotional part would be the very first thing I'd be focused on, wouldn't I? Yeah. So one of the things that happened with myself and Mary, we come down and walk through the orchard here and we go, oh, that tree's been hurt, and that tree, this tree's healthy as anything. <laughs> what's going on? And then we feel it, and we go, yeah, I can see what's going on here. You know, and that's what we need to focus on first. So most people, what they'll do is they look at that and they go, oh, the poor tree, let's fix him up, and do this and do that to him. Right. Throw some insecticide on it. <laughs> Throw some insecticide on it, or whatever we want to do uh, to fix him up. But but in the process, where our soul is working against that process already, because our soul has lack of love of self affecting the plant's absorption of aluminium. Yeah. Wouldn't it be the best to just stay by the tree and immediately? Go in your grief. Well, it's very hard to deal with some emotions instantly, as you know. You know, it can take many months and sometimes years to deal with it. When myself and Mary deal with our lack of love of self, this this tree will just go. If it doesn't die first, because it, you know some of them will die first because of how extreme our emotion is. Yeah, and under those circumstances, we're best helping it along a bit, but writing down all the details for our emotion. You know. So, so my feelings here is that we want to try to address it in the soil, the aluminium in the soil, but we, we've got to be very careful because my soul or Mary's soul is pre pre preventing it from absorbing aluminium anyway. So I could put aluminium in the soil, but that will actually may increase the amount of aluminium beyond what it really needs. And it becomes a poison yeah. then. And it becomes yeah. poisonous to the plant. And, it puts others and yet I've not dealt with the emotional yeah. reason why the yeah. plant's not absorbing it still. Mm. You see? Yeah, that was going to be my next question. How do you, because you said there, okay, if you love the, the tree and you love yourself, you help the tree and while you were doing the emotion. But, but if you help the tree, um, and so then, then the then the barometer is not there anymore for, for you, then of course I, I suppose it will be other things, but then, you know, so... But this is where, if you're really sincere, mm. like what myself and Mary do is we write down what we've got going on in our soul, and we make sure we remain conscious of that particular thing. <coughs> so we don't, we don't walk away from it once it's written down, mm. we actually focus on the emotion rather than, rather than trying to say, oh, well, I've written that down, I'll forget about that now. We focus on actually that emotion right there and then and for as long as we possibly can yeah and so my my focus right at the moment is my lack of love of self as i start mm -hmm. talk to you about on the weekend mm -hmm. and everything that i'm doing all the time is always focusing more and more on that particular emotion yeah yeah, yeah. and you know then you're helping the plant the most mm -hmm. and then if i want to just help the plant a little bit more i'd give it a little bit of what it needs right but but i have to be very careful that i don't overload it um, and then all of a sudden we've now got a toxicity problem r rather than a problem of absorption.
that affects the other minerals as well, it puts them out of balance. It puts everything out of balance, yeah. 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 But, but really, I think again, in general, the soil deficient of most of those trace elements anyway. Because most of it's been eroded. Yeah. Gone down, and the, gone, down, gone down the creek. Gone down the creek, yeah. 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 In the so, ocean. It's all in the ocean. It's all in the ocean right now, yeah. 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 So the natural thing for most of us to be alright, I'll go and love my soil more. I'll go and have a massage, I'll go and do this, that. Whereas yeah, yeah, we're not still not, itself, not looking mm. at the cause of why we don't love ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So we're compatible down very easily because we are going, oh, I'm loving myself, I'm loving myself. Yeah. We need to You need to feel, feel you need to release why. the emotions you feel about how bad you feel about yourself. Mm. That's and that is the grieving process you need to go through. And that's the thing that's going to ca cause the ultimate cure for the plant. See, see, what should happen, no matter how deficient the environment is, what mm. should happen is once I've cleared everything, every plant in this entire place will actually reflect the fact that I've cleared everything. Do we have an effect also though coming on here? Of course. Yeah, so of course. Of course. So you're really putting yourself, your own environment at risk by having, you know what I'm saying? Yes, I, I agree, Elaine, but, but this is a part of the teaching process, you know, yeah, as course. well. Yeah, like, And this is one reason why I'm wanting to do this on our property rather than doing it on 600 yeah. acres. But you can bring it back because... Well, 600 back. acres is a lot harder to bring back than 40 acres is to bring back, do you know what I mean? And so, um, yeah, so it's, this process is a lot better happening here than, than there. AJ, who has the greatest effect on the plant? The person that's physically closest to it or the person that planted? The person who has the strongest emotional attachment to the plant has the largest effect on the plant. So it's so Mary, Mary at the moment, a, yeah? Mary has a lot stronger physical attachment to, to, she loves eating. to figs than I do. I understand, but if she'll be, for example, overseas? It doesn't she, matter. She she still affects. Still going to affect the plant. It's a plant that we've got on our property that we have connection to. It's going to affect this plant. Whether she's overseas, here, doesn't matter where. It's responding to her condition. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. do, do our emotions too have a general effect though, don't they, on all the plants? Of course. Yeah, so of course. we have that general So just by being specific. here, we are all having yeah, an effect well on well. the plant. So every one of you that has a lack of self-love is affecting yeah, this plant. Yeah. But, but you're not going What's to have the as much of it. Yeah, I was just going to say, just going to <laughs> so you're not having as much effect on the plant as the person with the strongest yeah. emotional connection. Yeah. It's a bit like your animals. It's the same. And children. Yep. Yeah, same. Same sure. thing. Okay. Yep. Yeah. With your animals, the person with the strongest emotional connection to the animal is having the most effect on the animal. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. AJ, I find it already helps a little bit. Not not as much as you know. Once I really clean up my soul condition, but since I am learning more and more and more to less judge the bad caterpillars and yeah. the bad tree and... Yeah, it I'm helps you look more at what's that, really it, going on. It already on. really grows our trees better. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I don't judge them anymore for what they do wrong. Yeah, because mm. I'm not actually doing anything wrong. Of course wrong. not, but... Yeah. We are. Yes. Mm. And has somebody written down the linkage between magnesium and the emotion? From the first mm -hmm. one in the yes. Yeah. What was the, the relationship? The magnesium oh, yeah. and was fear. Fear. Yeah. fear. And yeah. has somebody written down the yes. relationship yes. between aluminium, aluminium and, and self love? Self love. Good. It's good. What was the thing that was the was it butterflies and snow? Oh, no, it's no, no, different. Klaus sure. knows what it is. It's a cabbage. I'm sure Klaus will. I think it's a cabbage moth. That garden is full of flourishing. And that's, that's, that's a uh, kind of cabbage moth. And, and this is rust. This is rust. Yeah. Yeah. Particularly, yeah. 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 So the caterpillar. Almost irrespective of these looking out. Of course, some of the cabbage moths. So, what's the emotion behind it? Trying to Self-punishment. I would say so. Yes. Lack of self-love and self-punishment. Big hand yeah, in hand. Very hand in hand, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. So, so the rust, self-punishment. Yeah. So, so this is um, specific to all plants, or is it? Can it be different for one plant to another? The relationship. Well, it will be depending on the emotional connection yeah, that you have. Yeah. But, yeah. but this is where. But there are specific relationships between mineralisation. Uh, deficiencies yeah. and what's happening to the plant in terms of what yeah. what's it's yeah. been affected, but the link that everybody forgets is the link to the soul emotion. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it's the link to the soul emotion that is the most powerful effect on this plant. Yeah. Even just acknowledging it is going to help the plant. Yeah. 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 Ye
keep our soil conditions like very good yep. and there's none of the elements in the environment, yep. is our body able to change one thing into another? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah. It will actually it'll actually draw from the environment, from the air and everything. Yeah. All the things we need. Yeah. So it's matrix. It's like the matrix, yeah. <laughs> so it's us, God. And everything, soul and, the matrix. and everything else is the matrix. Yeah. Yeah. And the matrix is going to work exactly as we want it to work once we're in a condition of love. Mm -hmm. And everything, everything that we are connected to emotionally will also have a positive effect on it once we're in the condition of love. And we need to understand the relationships. And this is where the documentation team can help a lot. Because what, what we can start doing is we can start documenting. All right, we know there's a relationship, rust, boron, and the soul condition thing of self-punishment. We know there's a, you know, the being eaten by the caterpillars with the uh, aluminium, and we know that's a relation to, to self like self-love. Mm -hmm. So, so we know straight away what's affecting the plant in its real sense, yep. not not in, not in a sense that mankind has always felt. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. There's a big metaphor here that I keep feeling that uh, it's a, it's a bit like how we treat our children. I mean, that something's wrong with them. We try and smother them with all these fixes. Yeah, and but in reality it's our condition that's caused the problem. Yep. Yeah, yep. Alright, well let's have a look at these. These are pajoas. This one's a pajoa. These look pretty healthy, what do you reckon? There's a little green tree frog sitting on oh, the leaves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This one... And it's beautiful. Like, and all these ants, different types of ants. There's a little green tree frog sitting down the there. White, the white dots look like that. Kind of. oh, so, so, what, what is this again? Sorry? It's a flagella. Yep. It's got a little bit of curly leaf happening. Yeah, there's one down just there. Just a touch, well. you notice that? Yeah, yeah. Just a touch here on this side here, you can see just a little oh, bit. Yes. So, where, where is the lady? Nat. Nat? Yeah. 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 Curly leaf. So, what's that about, Nat? That first feeling was um, joy. Yep. Bit, that's why the plants turn so well. Yep. Um, denial is the curly leaf. Denial of? God. Right. So joy for God, but a little bit of denial there. Yep. And um, the pajamas are mostly connected to myself. And the reason why is Mary didn't even know about pajamas before I put in the plant. Um, I, I loved them from my childhood and uh, I, they're a beautiful fruit to eat. Um, and, uh, and yes, the, the emotions you just mentioned are exactly the feelings that I'm having with God at the moment. Yeah, a denial of my relationship with God. Uh, what is the mineral linked to the zinc. curly? Zinc. And I'm having problems with zinc myself actually. It's exactly the same. That's once again... Yeah, I think it's a fear based yeah a lot of but it's but it's more my own denial of my connection with God um, and I'm working my way through that it's it's a, a very much along the feminine lines of my denial my denial of my connection with the female side of God if you like and that's affecting the plant but aside from that the plant's doing quite healthily but aside from that issue is that also part of the reason why all these women came up to you during the weekend and said like, how afraid they are yeah. of me yeah yeah. I tell you, you need at least two of them to get them pollinated. We've got about yeah. ten of them. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's love, isn't it? The fact that the frog is sitting on it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the frogs are doing nice. Yeah. Yeah. Is that little bit of eating down there that's the same as the curly? Yeah, little, 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 little tiny beetles. There's also this thing going on as well. Yeah, there's a little Don't bit of rust in it. Oh. So you notice that that will be the same emotion as the <laughs> other boron plus my own emotion. Mm -hmm. But a little, in, little but bit of self-punishment going on. But in general, on. it's 90% very healthy, 90 percent. Yeah. yeah, but certain plants need different uh, elements anyway, and so it will affect them differently. Yeah, that's right. Oh, interesting, AJ, how zinc deficiency in soils is like the most common deficiency, common deficiency in, in soil. Yeah. 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 We're, we're having huge problems with it because zinc, zinc is such a reactive man, metal. That it, that it can easily oxidise and then be pulled away in, the, in, in raising water tables and salt. Mm -hmm. Salt uh, causes demineralisation of zinc mm -hmm. quite a lot. So, yeah, it's, it, it's going to uh, be a problem for a while mm -hmm. until we sort out some issues with regard to water tables and all sorts of issues.
it's very sensitive to iron levels too, zinc. It is in our bodies particularly. Yeah. And, uh, there are correlations between mm. every uh, metal, metallic mm. element in our body and uh, they, they are finely balanced. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We want to add, um, now we do have that, that uh, mineral mixture we have does have magnesium in it, doesn't it? Yes. And, uh, it also calcium. might need some nitrogen. And calcium. Sorry? Nitrogen it might need too. It, it uh, probably needs quite a few things, but yeah. Makes the leaves greener. So, so let's talk about some of the things it needs. Phosphorus. Phosphorus. Sulfate. Sulfur. Nitrogen. Nitrogen. Magnesium. Magnesium. Okay, most of those are in there. Yeah. Zinc. There's lots. There's lots. All right. Now let's let's tie again the emotions to each of the elements. So the first one I think mentioned was phosphorus. Phosphorus is about desire. Not engaging desire or lack of lack of desire for what? Just lack of engaging passion and desire. Yes. Yep. Not yeah, not following desire. Yep. And avoiding personal truth. Avoiding personal truth about desires or yes. Yep. At the moment, um, it's probably Mary in that condition more than myself. Um, I'm engaging a lot of my desires now, but Mary's very afraid still of engaging hers. Yeah. What was the other one? Sulfur? Sulfur. Sulfate? Sulfate. It relates to truth as well. Yeah. And a lack of longing. Lack of longing for truth. Yep. Now we can even ask which, who's having more of an effect on it, myself or Mary? Mm -hmm. You know, all those kind of things we could ask, can we? Like, mm -hmm. yep. You both are, but Mary in particular. Yep. And I, I certainly have a lot of the same emotions still. Okay. Um, nitrogen. Nitrogen. Nitrogen is a fear of knowing. Yep. And that's huge for Mary at the moment. And it's quite large for me actually in some areas, in specific areas. Yep. And magnesium. So nitrogen was a fear of knowing. Knowing, yeah. Magnesium, we've already covered. Yep. Fear. And zinc we already covered. Zinc we've already covered. Yep. Yep. This plant needs acceptance of those things. Yeah. Acceptance you know. of truth. Acceptance of knowing the truth. Yeah. And the, den the yeah. denial of accepting those things yeah. is what is what's causing it a lot of trouble. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, why is this plant affect the lemon? It's a lemon. The other citrus was a. It was a lemon too. Was it a lemon yeah, as well? It might be a different type of lemon, okay. but it was a lemon. This is a lemonade. This is a lemonade. Oh, okay, the other one. What was it? This, the oh. other one was a. Oh, yeah. What was it? I think it was a Maya. A Maya lemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This one's a lemonade. So why is the mm -hmm. lemonade more affected than the other? Okay. Can we find out? They're saying emotional attachment. Mm -hmm. To the lemonade. Both myself and Mary love lemonades. Yeah, okay. so amazing. <laughs> you ever had lemonade, you guys? Yeah. yeah. It's a cross between, a, um, I think, orange and a lemon, and it tastes like lemonade. It, it, it's sort of like a sweet lemon, almost. Yeah. Yeah. When you say an emotional attachment, is that like a projection almost on it? Uh, we both love lemonades. It's just a fact that we love lemonade. So, so, so this plant is going to accept our emotions more than a than a plant where we, we're indifferent to to what fruit it has. Love hurts in this particular. <laughs> it's not the love that's hurting. It's the lack of love that's hurting this plant. Okay. 
you know, we remember, we remember yesterday we talked about the mediumship team, and you know that's really handy, isn't it, in knowing what's going on, along with members of the environment team, and also people documenting all this so that we can put all this together. Do you know what I mean? It's all very, very important. It's all information that can be given to others if we, if we have it collected. So this, this is a pecan. A uh, little bit, uh, fairly healthy, isn't it? A little bit of problem. So some rust, yes. So same issue there, obviously. Yeah. Um, anything else they can add, Natalie? There's a little bit of eating going on there too. Because it's tasty. Is that because there's something else missing in the environment? It's minerals again. I mean, other food for where does it? Looks like um, no, even if there was other food, no other food available for whatever is eating it, they wouldn't eat it unless there was some kind of, unless there's something wrong with the plant. So, so the truth is, you, in the future, you'll be able to plant a whole vegetable garden, right? And that vegetable garden will not be touched by one insect if you have all of these different emotions sorted out. Survive anything, yeah. and in fact, there wouldn't even be a grasshopper plague in your, in your area. area. Yeah. It would just go around you. Well, obviously, once you've cleared all your emotions, it's, you're in the eighth dimension, aren't you? If you're longing for God, or you're in the sixth, if you're, you're just on the natural love path. But eighth, if you're longing for God, this is what will happen. You'll actually be able to go away from a property, come back, and the property will be in better condition than when you left it. Not worse condition. Uh, everything is anti-entropic when you become at one with God. Mm -hmm. Everything around you doesn't decay. Mm -hmm. yep. So if one, if say you yeah. can become at one with God and Mary hasn't, yep. do her emotions still affect some of the trees? Yes, or but do less yours so. Yes, yeah. Yeah, okay. less so. <laughs> it will only be the ones that she has a particular emotional okay. connection with yeah. that yep. will be affected mostly. So just one person mm -hmm. in an environment changing is going to mm -hmm. change it. Yeah. Jane, um, in, in the area of that effect, when you're at one moment, how far does that extend? Well, it, everyone on earth feels it, yeah. but it's all the things you're emotionally connected to that have the most positive benefit by by that condition. So, so anything you're emotionally connected with. Yeah. So there's obviously people I've never met yet. It's very hard to be emotionally connected to a person you've never met yet. So they will have less benefit than a person that, that we've met. Does that make sense? Yeah. And the same goes with our plants. If we, there's plants that uh, we, we don't know about and we don't have a connection with, then those particular plants will have a less, a less mm. effect on them than the plants that we would have connection with. Yeah. Mm. Any extra comments they want to make about the pecan? Is, I don't, I'm not familiar with minerals at all, yeah. so, but like oxidising, oxidation, something about minerals. I feel like it's iron for some reason. Minerals all oxidise. Okay. All of them do. Okay. Yeah. And what, what are it's they not. It's, it's not, not oxidising yeah. minerals properly. So yeah. what would cause that? So uh, in other words, the minerals are present. It can, it's ready to absorb them, but, but it can't oxidise not, them properly. Yeah. And yeah. Um, the same. I'm just worried this is a, an emotional filter of mine because no, it's no, a lot of my We can always correct later. Okay. <laughs> You don't have to have everything. Uh, it's lack of trust in yourself and lack of faith in yourself. Yeah, both myself and Mary have got both of that happening. Yep. Okay. So what happens to the insects? You know, like there's no insects eating your garden. They will all. They like, like every other balance. part of the balance. Yeah. Is they're only present when we need them to be present. So all of them will naturally just die off and different different things will happen with them as a result that they'll pupate they'll still they'll, they'll st the eggs will still be laying there dormant everything will be ready for another thing to come along should they be needed uh, everything's like that deficiencies that pointed um natalie pointed out this plant is doing better than the other ones is that because of the connection you know? Uh, there's also a lot of joy. Uh, the pecan, like, my, I'm, I'm passionate about nuts, as you probably already aware, and so it has a big effect on the plant. So.
So demand rent? Or Sorry. Is it demand on the plants? No, no. I just uh, like I love them. I, I I love nuts, and yeah, as a result, most of our nut trees do better than most other trees. <laughs> Mary loves the figs, and you love the nuts. Yeah. Should so the fig be flourishing as well? No, no, remember, it's our emotions. She, she loves the figs, but yeah. all of the other emotions... Yeah. So it, she has a connection to the fig tree, but all of the other emotions that are unhealed also affect that tree now. Yeah. Whereas all the emotions that are unhealed in me affect this tree more than perhaps it, Mary's yeah. emotions affect yeah. this tree. Mary's never been that passionate about nuts. She's never really gone for nuts much. Yeah, the attachment to the tree is yours. Yeah. yeah. So, so the, the, the problems with the tree are more related to my own emotions mm. than Mary's mm. at the moment. Does that make sense? Mm. And yeah. you're experiencing more joy than Mary is at the moment. Yeah, so much the, more. The Mary's going through a lot of spirit attack and yeah. a lot of other problems, yeah. that, that, uh, just going through her fears yeah. a lot. And so as a result of that, it's bound to have an effect mm. yeah, a lot more. And, you know, if, if we were talking like five years ago when I was going through all yeah. of those, this whole yeah. orchard would be probably yeah. decimated by now. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Half a year, you still the connection with your plants would just yep, with your soul. That'd be fine, even if you go along, yeah, yeah, you, you can go. Yep, How you, mm -hmm. uh, you don't have to, it, whatever your development is at that point is affecting them, so, yeah, so. but they would not improve unless you were, improving. of course, yeah. So, so I could improve overseas, deal with that emotion overseas, and, and I could come back here mm -hmm. and there won't be any of that eating mm -hmm. stuff happening. That's how you look after your gardens in the spirit world. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Like you don't <laughs> live, that. you don't live in the location yeah. permanently. You're yeah. travelling back and forward. Sometimes, yeah. if you're a celestial spirit, you're travelling right down to the first sphere, and you're spending a lot of your time down in the yeah. first sphere, helping people and so forth. But when you go back home to have a rest in your own yeah. garden, your own garden is still beautiful. Beautiful. Do they get tired? Sorry? Do they get tired? Yeah, yeah, and they go back home to their own place. Everyone has a limit in energy. God's the only person that doesn't. Okay. And so even in the spirit world, I had a limited energy. You, when you reach that limited energy, you go back home. Within a few mo hours, usually, you're replenished with energy through your environment, you know. There's a little break here on the branch. There's a few breaks on the branches, yeah. yeah. So the breaks on the branches? It's about flow, trusting the flow. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just uh, still having a bit of problem with that myself. A lot of this is my stuff. All the stuff that's been mentioned about this plant is my stuff. Yeah. Okay? Great. They can tell you so much, huh? Yeah. Plant and so forth. There are some people on the planet who think they're talking to the plant and hearing all this from the plant. The plant's going, I need magnesium, I need this, I need that. And that's just a spirit telling you what the plant's needing. But the spirit is a natural love spirit not understanding the soul connection with the plant and how my soul is affecting the plant. Does that make sense? Yeah. So this is the fact, this is the area where most of us need to be more, far more aware. We need to understand my own emotions and how it's affecting the plant. If we don't understand that, we, we can cure the soil and fix up things in the soil, but, but my own soul is working against what I'm doing. Right? You'll get to a point where you don't have to tend your garden yeah. mm -hmm. at all. Exactly. You don't have to tend it at all. And not so many right. gardens get burned out, you know, and they have to scale down because they can't look after exactly. them. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Because of, because of so much Nothing's work. Happening. They're all trying to fix all of these things. And remember, as you're growing older and older and older, generally you're becoming more and more in denial yeah. of yeah. your own poor condition. And poor yeah. Poorer and poorer condition. Which, effect, which means you work harder, but you're too tired to work harder. Mm. And so you have to scale everything back and yeah. still have effect and so forth. Whereas if you fix the soul issues, the, the plants won't even need any work at all. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. So you know how, so you, at the moment, Helga, you're a bit tired about the plants at some time. Totally, like, yeah. the plants, many and that's things right. are already happening. Yeah. Better things. Yeah. Once Where? you change the soul, and so when you get to an environment condition, all of your garden now will operate perfectly. It won't be marauded by animals. Everything will happen exactly as you souls directing. You won't have any issues with being eaten here and all those kind of things. 
everything will work fine. And all the all the plants around that were recover, recovery plants, like the like the cobblers, pegs, and other plants, they they'll just naturally die off because and then their seed bank will be just waiting in the soil. And just in case you move from the property and someone comes into it who's got that condition, name and they'll spray it back up again then, you know. But they won't before then. When I went away for three months to America and I came back, yep. and my vegetable garden was just really brilliant. Yep. And I said, Klaus, thank you. And I didn't do a thing. Didn't do anything. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what about Anastasia? Did you include the soul? Because Obviously, she includes some factors like yeah, you know joy and other factors yeah. like that, but but none of the natural yeah. love teachings include yeah. the relationship between the soul and what's going on. Yeah. Let's go down a little further. Huh? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Keep going, Matt. Some of these emotions are your emotions, and it's affecting you a bit. Yeah. You see the little green tree problem? Who about that bit? Mm. You can't see it. No. Oh, wow, yeah. he is little. <laughs> We're getting more and more frogs on the property, and it's really good. All different varieties. Uh -huh. like. <laughs> They're very sensitive to the environment, aren't yeah. they? They absorb all the. When we first came, it was just basically cane toads. <laughs> this one's deficient in iron? Yeah. This is what it's calling the, the, the... What's it called again? Leaf, leaf, leaf miners. Leaf. Yeah. They, they bow under the skin. Yeah. And they live under there. Yeah. Leaf what? Miner. Leaf miners. Oh, miners. Yeah. Oh, they're miners. Leaf miners. They go to sick of them. Yeah. And it's anger at injustice? Yeah. It's my problem again. What was that one telling you? Anger at injustice. Injustice? Yeah. I'm still working through some emotions about sort of there's a feeling in me still of being sort of God's whipping boy sort of thing where all of the emotions that people have projected at God once I once I start talking to them about God all of those emotions get projected at me and it just feels really un, unjust like a, that I don't deserve that you know and but I'm still not connecting to the grief of it properly so um, it's affecting my macadamias. And again, the nuts and they're mostly my emotions. The nut trees are mostly my emotions. Because these miners would normally go onto your citrus, but eventually they don't. They go onto this. Yeah. They're saying that you're angry at the expect you feel like God has an expectation of you. Oh, that God has an expectation of me to take all of the to take all of the rage that people are directing at God. That's not fair. Yeah, 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 that's how it feels for me. Is that mm. something to do with because the macadamias are really hard, sure? Um, I'm not certain. I'm sure it has something to do with everything. But, uh, <laughs> and the leaves are really prickly. They cut you. Yeah, yeah. they're quite yeah. protective of themselves. It so depends on yeah. the variety. They have different mm -hmm. varieties. Yeah. The native ones, they have sharp leaves, yeah. but the uh, yeah, garbage one ones usually yeah. not. But I've got uh, seedlings and they make the best nuts. Yeah. Seedlings? Yeah. yeah. But they have really prickly leaves. Yeah. 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 Mm. In fact, this is something to bear in mind too, is that if you, if you get grafted trees, um, obviously mankind's modified them. Mm -hmm. And by the modification there is always genetic upsets that occur. And you're better off actually growing things from the seed, from, as a seedling. You'll always get a stronger tree and a better outcome, better crop, sweeter, all those kind of things, if you can, you know. So, they go very well from seeds. Yeah, and most, actually most do go very well from seed, if you deal with the emotional reason why they're not grown. It takes a bit longer than no, no, that's, that's a big fear I think people yeah. have. But we yeah. have one grafted one, it, it hardly has any fruit on it, and the native ones say it's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, it again gets down to emotion. My um, tree is at the moment flowering, it's got nuts dropping all over the place, I'm just mowing over them. Would you yep. like me to collect them? And would that be part of the seed thing? Yeah, no, it's always good to have good bearing With seed crop. Some, yeah, it's a native, it's prickly as all heck. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's a native. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. yeah. bearing fruit. Yeah. 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 What is it? Like like macadamia. Yeah, yeah, it's a really yeah. nice it's young, young ungrafted mm. natural mm. macadamia seedling. tree seedlings. Yeah. We yeah. have them. You have some? As a gift, just come and get them. Yeah.
and if anyone still wants bunion seeds, please collect them from our doorway. We've got them all there. There's a heap of bunya seeds there. Too. Hey Jay, just one question. Uh, if you were on the block, um, if you were the only one living in this property, like uh, this is for me anyway, mm -hmm. um, and I have a, I only have pot plants, but some of them are, or in this case, this one here has got some deficiencies that are related to you, and the pecan has got different deficiencies. Why, why is that? Some plants absorb more than others. They're all nuts. Every plant is like every person in some ways, and that we have a personality, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and because of that, they have different things that they need and, and absorb that we affect more than other than others. So this is why it's so important to not make rules about your plants mm -hmm. all the time, because there will be different things happening to every plant, and this is where the mediumship comes into play, and also understanding what emotions you're actually dealing with. Of course, when you become a one with God, all of this becomes a big point, doesn't it? Like, at the end of the day, you go, that'll be perfect, that'll be perfect, that'll be perfect, everything will be fine. Yeah. And so at the end of the day, you won't need to worry about any of that. But, but this is where honesty with yourself about your emotions is so important. And the, you see, we could, we could then go along and go, oh yeah, this has got this problem, let's fix up this with a bit of mineral here, and a bit of, we'll fix up this with that and so forth and we fix it all up and the plant starts to flourish but we've yet to address the emotion and so so at the end of the day when those minerals are no longer available that for us to purchase what's going to happen to the plant it's going to just go back to that condition that our souls in does that make sense so so all the work we've done was pretty pointless really if we don't engage the soul work uh, affecting the issue. Um, is there more that needs to be said about this one? There's just so much excitement about communicating this. Mm. Yeah. There's lots of love about it. Yeah. The, 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 beauty, the beauty of understanding all of this, I, I can't emphasize to you enough the beauty of understanding the relationships here. Like, it's just a, an amazing thing to understand the relationships. Such of a reflection. Mm -hmm. like, everything in your yeah. environment is a reflection it's of your amazing. condition. Everything. Incredible. Really mm -hmm. important to understand. Mm -hmm. What would be a making with iron again, sir? This, did this have an iron deficiency? Yeah. The iron, the emotion is anger, but in particular, yeah, anger about injustice. Anger about injustice. Mm -hmm. yep. Thank you. Yep. Mm -hmm. And how that reflected in this particular matter down there, because iron was something different. Well, that's why it's got these problems with the leaf, with a with a bug inside of the leaves. Mm -hmm. So what I'm asking here is, because every plant is different, and they attract different things, like you were saying, personally. Yeah, but the so truth is that if you have the same problem on the same plant as, as this, it'll be related to the same issue. It'll just, but, but my anger at injustice is about the injustice of being sort of in this middle ground between God and people. Mm -hmm where I just get feel like I get hammered by that mm -hmm. um, and I'm not enjoying it you know mm -hmm. like I'll get to a point at some point in the future where I'm fine with that and actually you know I know I can feel the emotion from from my memories of where I did enjoy that you know but but at the moment I'm not enjoying that at all and you're asking a lot of questions Nora because there's a really strong projection coming out of you can you feel what it is There's a really strong worry, fear. There's a fear here. You, can you feel what it yeah, is? Yeah, I'm trying to learn this so I can apply it at home with my different plants. Yeah, but it's that. What's the fear? Because you need to address. But the I fear. need to use my mind to learn this. Yeah. Yeah. And what's the fear? That if I don't know, I don't, I don't even know. I'm just thinking that it could be it. That well, that's if I don't know, it. that's that's. That I need to learn this intellectually so then I can apply it. That's what I can say. Not yeah. That yeah. But the truth is if it's yeah. only if you learn it at the soul level that you'll be yeah. applying it anyway. Yeah. But can I put to you that you have a deep fear here of getting it right. Yes, I've got to get it right. Yeah, yeah. and this is an issue you had a lot with your mum in particular, huh? Getting, getting it right, getting it right. I've got to get it right. If I don't get it right, I've failed. If I don't get it right, I'm going to, you know, something's going to go bad. Yeah. Something's going to go really wrong. I won't survive You've got this really strong yeah, projection. Get right. yeah. yeah, you've got this really strong projection coming out of you. If you, if you get it wrong, then, then something disastrous is going to happen. It's almost like a dread in you. Yeah. 
Yeah? yeah. So if you can address that, that will help you understand a lot more easily. Yeah, we've got black and white, so it's yeah, it's a it's a black one. Black. Black. Yes. Black and white. Not that I'm feeling it, but all of these trees that I see have some type of damage to them, so it's got to be a common emotion amongst no. No, remember every one we've gone through has been different, hasn't it? Yeah. I've never seen one of these trees that's not been not been badly affected. Not been badly. Yeah, it's always got some. Some no one mum was gone yet. Everywhere. That's because there's a strong emotional attachment right. to them as well. So. There's nitrogen deficiency here too, right? Okay, yeah. So what was nitrogen again? Fear of knowing. Fear of knowing. What was nitrogen? Fear of knowing. Fear of knowing. Fear of knowing. Yep. And this is uh, heat damage, isn't it? No, that's wind damage. Wind damage? I'm rubbing against here and here. Yep. Mm. And, and also that, that tree shutting down for winter, it's going to lose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's starting, it's it's starting to. Yellow anyway. yeah, yeah, it's starting to drop. Same with yeah. But, but the reality is it probably doesn't need the shroud, does it? Um, it's too hot down there for it. And, and oh. mulberries are not very sensitive to heat and cold. No, they no, no. Frost, no. Really. You can, they can handle frost or anything. So. This one would be better off with its shroud taken off it. Yeah. Shall we do that now? We can do that. Why not? Then we don't have to come back. There's a whole, whole, the whole team of you will be coming down here mm -hmm. and we'll be going back over everything we've just done and you'll be fixing it. Is that all right? But you, just to drum into you also the relationship between the minerals and the emotions and ask yourself as you go down what it, you know, this is AJ and Mary stuff, most of it, but how does it affect me? You know, how, what do I have that emotion? Is there any other comments about... It's magnesium, so there's a lot of fear. A lot of fear. And um, Klaus's comment about shutting down for winter, yeah. there's a lot of shutting down around knowing. Yeah. And the truth is that uh, actually plants in the future won't shut down for winter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what we're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, you know, the whole shutting down of a plant for winter is. Uh, it's all good. Well, it's to, it's to do with a number of factors actually, environmental but also soil-wise. Um, yeah. And you notice it happens primarily in the northern hemisphere mm -hmm. as well. It's just too cold, the water won't flow in, so then it's freezing. But it's not just all that. Okay, what happens in a forest generally, you, you, the conifers, for example, yes. all survive. Mm -hmm. So why do the conifers survive and these no? They do survive. But no, they, no, I mean, why don't they survive for green? Mm -hmm. And they have smaller leaves. Okay. See, so you're looking at it. So you're yeah. looking at this is one of your. Desires to look at a scientific explanation rather than a soul based one. We expect to eat the mulberry. That's just the effect. So, what's the, no, what's no the no soul based. The what's the soul based reason why plants shut down for winter? Because we do. rest like we do, because we think we deserve rest during the time. No, see, all of you are interfering with Natalie's process here. So, just stop for a moment and just let Natalie have her feel. Yeah. You're coming up with all these different suggestions, but I've asked nothing. Mm -hmm. It's our fear. We get cold in winter because of our fears. And it's a time to hide and long to feel safe and warm. So it's all about safety, really, fear mm. of safety, isn't it? Yeah. And, and in the future, what will happen with a lot of these plants that shut down for winter, they will not shut down. And in fact, many of them will bear during winter. Mm -hmm. Would well, that, so well. well, that be the same as animals? They yeah. won't need to hibernate anymore? Yeah, there's a lot of... Yep, it's the same right the way across. Yep, keep going that. Because of our need to breathe, it is such an innate desire that we live. Um, and, and air and breath is so important to us that that's why they do so well regardless. Yeah, the conifers. Yeah. So the conifers have a, they're reflecting man's desire to still have oxygen produced, basically. And is there something wrong with it that it feels some desire to go straight up and, it, and it's not branching? Um, we 
Well, you could say it's all a practical thing, couldn't you? And the fact that it's been shrouded by a shroud. <laughs> and not that, for that link, But not for the rest of the link. What do you think it might be? Some sort of fear? Oh. Yeah, because of the fear, it's not willing to open up. Maybe. It feels false. It's restriction. It feels restricted. Quite easy to fix that, isn't it? Yeah. Just take the shroud off. <laughs> Yes, the resentment of, about how our people treat us. Yeah. Yeah. Always love going out, nothing coming back. Yeah. What's the uh, mineral related to? <laughs> Everyone you can think of. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Can we be more specific? <laughs> At the moment, some of the emotions I feel from many of you still is a strong aversion to cooperating with me in any way. Um, Would it also be that people, even when they sort of want to be loving to you, it's more for their own benefit than just being loving yeah. what I feel? Yeah, we, don't, we very rarely love feel, love. myself and Mary very rarely feel an act of love just, just, for you. just yeah, because so of love. It's not me personally, but well, even from you, you, yeah, know, you but, often feel yeah. it. So, yeah. 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 Potassium incorporation. Potassium incorporation. Yeah. yeah. No, we're struggling with that at the moment. Like, um, like being aware of how much expectations are placed upon us, without there being any desire to give to the whole, even to give. Uh, like I talked to the group Sunday, right, about mm. giving to the world, you know, doing things for the sake of, like, loving people, you know. Mm. Many of you still are really stuck when it comes to love, like, loving people. You love plants and you love animals and love birds, and but when it comes to loving people, a lot of you are very stuck on it, you know, and the amount of times there's resentment and anger and rage and all projected at us just for saying something truthful to you. Um, myself and Mary at times go through these emotions of feeling like just like might as well give up and go back home you know like that's the feeling we have sometimes mm -hmm. they're saying that there's a big expectation from us for you and Mary to show us how to love yeah. and we see that you can do it and go through we can do it yeah. so you have to show us yeah and, the, and the there's a demand mm -hmm. upon us constantly you'd be surprised in one day how many phone calls we get where, where we pick up the phone and the person just starts talking about their own problem. We just pick up the phone and there's no, and sometimes there's not even a hello. And, and you say, oh, who's this? You know? And they've already started talking about their own problem. Like, many times you've come up to talk to me, mo a lot of times you've come up to talk to me about your own problem. Mm. You think of how many times you've actually asked me about any of mine. Mm. For most people, not at all. Mm. Yeah? And for those people who have, oftentimes it's be so that you can then ask me about yours. <laughs> you know, so you ask me about mine first. Don't want to hear that, but so but you do that because you feel guilty about going straight into yours. And yeah, there's a lot of emotions like that that myself and Mary have been working through about try, trying to stay in our passion and desire about uh, you know helping and, and giving gifts to others. But, but the truth is there's still the belief that, um, from the majority of people that somehow we're responsible for you mm. and we're not. Mm -hmm. and, I also uh, feel that it's like, you feel, oh, you've, got it all, you, you've got it all correct anyway. But I haven't. You, my you plants are telling you that I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know what I mean? Instead of More thinking enough. that, instead of feeling what may it be that you could be helpful. Yeah, and also so, just like... Like the process of uh, giving is is a process where you just do it because you want to, not for any other reason. You know, like 
So imagine you're walking along the street and you see a person who needs your help. Just giving them help you do because your heart's motivated to help. It's not for any other reason of what you can get out of it or anything like that. A lot of what's going on with, with others with us is that there's a lot of motives of what can I get out of this interaction? Well, what, you know, I want something from them, you know, I want, and there's, and what's happening for myself and Mary is we, we've got to be very careful. Mary's a bit more resentful about it than I am presently, but um, we've got to be careful that we don't uh, have a lack of love towards you just because of all these demands. Mm -hmm. What we've got to learn to do is love ourselves more mm -hmm. so that we don't respond to those demands. Mm -hmm. So both of you are obviously attached to avocados. Yeah, we both love avocados. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and particularly house. And this one's a house. Yeah, yeah. And they also said that they, being us, are not aware that you can feel our motives mm. when they're not genuine. Always. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, to be to be frank, I very rarely feel a genuine emotion from any person, mm -hmm. and it's very hard. I mean a loving um, yeah, in a loving manner, yeah. a genuine loving pure. emotion, a pure emotion. Most mm -hmm. of it's tainted with with a lot of selfish desires, mm -hmm. and and it's very very hard to actually engage many because of that, because you can feel these terrible feelings coming from many people, um, and. And it's very hard to even help you be conscious of it, because as soon as we open our mouth, oh no, I don't have that. Oh no, I don't have that. No, that's not how I feel, you know. And so there's also this. Well, you know, it's very difficult either way now because you're projecting unloving things at us. We tell you, you don't acknowledge it. What do we do now? The best thing for us to do now is walk away, right? Really. And then a lot of people wonder why we don't want to have too much to do with them. And to be frank, it's because of the terrible emotions coming out of most people still is the reasons why we we can't like um, envy I think is a lot like envy envy is what you have but jealous and wanting it but envy so envy doesn't allow you to give back yeah there's a lot of very resentful emotions at play uh, when people look at myself and Mary and what you know and, and even things like like to be frank many of you have even considered having people come from overseas to speak or whatever, famous people come and you're willing to pay 20 grand for them to come to speak to you for a week or whatever and yet and yet, uh, when it comes to even just giving uh, monetarily to myself and Mary and you know that we use our, uh, everything pretty wisely still but even doing that there's a lot of resentment involved in that process too although we are very appreciative of everything we receive and we often have a good cry about how much our life is enjoyable we we also can see that in comparison to other people who are teaching you things there's still nowhere near the honor you accord them is nowhere near the honor that you accord us and we're not asking you to record us honor but i'm just saying that the, that there is a huge comparison so so you know whenever you think of a famous person who um you know, off, often in the past you've paid tens of hundreds of dollars or even thousands of dollars to do something that you get for free every single time mm. we meet mm. and yet and yet there is still the projection coming from you that we've got to give you more got more than they've ever given <laughs> you know? us I can tell <laughs> you got to give me more you got to give me more you got to give me more you know and uh, and and that's uh, something that myself and Mary are struggling uh, through emotionally to deal with and so our poor little avocados uh, Yes. And so therefore we are always demanding more because we don't actually feel the gratitude because our hearts are closed. Yeah, exactly. Um, like myself and Mary have often cried about um, how much uh, like you're willing to just donate to something that you're even still not personally certain about. And, and we often have a lot of uh, feelings of gratitude for how much uh, our life is a reflection of you know, how, how our life is aided by what you have given us. Um, but, but we also realise that a lot of the gifts that have been given are actually demands and not gifts, you know. It's like, I've put my $50 in now, 
now oh. I want my pound oh, of flesh. Twenty questions. Yeah, you know, and uh, <laughs> and so we feel that quite a lot too. You know. Uh, yeah. It's the same. The tiring, the resentment is tiring for you, and yes. that's your indicate that's your guide. That's your indication to say, okay, I'm not loving myself. Right. Yeah, the thing I've got to learn the most for myself is to stop giving more, um, and just and just take time for myself and enjoy the time I spend for myself. The next few weeks, the next three or four weeks, I'm wanting to do that um, because I just find otherwise that. Um, the the interplay between myself and the group is such that there's so much taking going on um, that I've that, that if I'm not careful I'll be exhausted in a very very okay. short period of time. Mm. Mm. Which is not loving. No, not <laughs> not loving to me. This is all about me and Mary learning to be loving to ourselves too. You know, like mm. the more loving to ourselves we are, the more I will have a talk with you, like I did on Sunday. Mm. You know mm -hmm. about how the the interplay is not loving at all, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, do, many of you um, have high expectations of us, mm -hmm. um, but not the same expectations of yourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whereas I don't have any expectations of you that I don't have for myself. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You feel that because. Um, we're teaching you, that means that that what you would normally expect from a normal person, you can demand far more from us than that. Mm. And even far more, like, what would you expect from a famous teacher? You know, someone that you met, who wasn't as down to earth as myself, mm. and who was famous, yeah. like, someone like, mm. you know, Deepak Chopra come along and said he was going to do a talk for you, and, mm. you know, or any of those people, what would you have done before? $5,000. Yeah. No. Um, Many of you have done, mm. if you think about it, mm. haven't you? I don't think people would be walking up as readily and asking questions. No, you, well, his mind just wouldn't allow you to. Mm. It's as simple as that. Mm. I tell you to mm. pee off, mm. <laughs> basically. Mm. Yeah. Little, very little change. Yeah. yeah. And also, they're so hung up with positivity that they trip over negativity all the time. They don't want to pick it up and look at it. You've allowed us. Yeah. The negativity up. And that's a part of your resentment soul. though, you see. Part of your yeah. resentment is I'm not making you feel good about yourself anymore. <laughs> yeah, but, and but it's good that you're not. We, you no, know, there's an attraction in your soul to that, yeah. but there's also a bit of resentment about that. Yeah, like, exactly. you know, so. That's where it comes from. Mud boots. Oh. Yeah. 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 Why is it going to be so hard? Oh, really? so, right. We're still looking for the Saviour, basically. Yeah, you're Whether yeah, still looking for Jesus to be the Jesus that the religions have taught you Jesus are, the man who comes along and just by being there saves you without you, without you having to do any work at all. You know? And many of you are still looking for that. Yeah. And, and it's funny, isn't it, how you can not even be brought up in a religion and still have that view. Yeah. And it just shows you the power of... Universal thinking and how it affects you. We expect the miracle. Yeah, yeah you do. Yeah. You want the miracle, but you want you don't want the miracle for someone else. You want it for yourself. Yeah. So, so there's even a selfishness in the miracle. Like, there's a, there's a lot of ownership in those emotions. Yeah, and yet the the things that you're being taught are the most powerful things you could ever learn in the universe, actually. And as yet, the majority of you still don't understand that, really. You still have a lot of limited thinking about the soul. And, um, and so sometimes I come back from a talk. I, I came back from the talk the Sunday yeah. night, a bit exhausted. And, um, yeah. and, I, and I said to Mary, yeah, I don't think I'm getting anywhere. No. <laughs> at the moment. No. Just because I can feel yeah. the... Um, just all of those emotions in play mm. um, from the group, yeah. So don't you want to feel love? And they said, yeah, but love comes at a price. Mm -hmm. And even what AJ is teaching is at a price. You're saying, I've got to feel my pain <laughs> to get God's love. Mm -hmm. What was really? I only was I have the same belief. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of people who have that belief that 
God's God's exacting a price for yeah. her love. Mm. The reality is, and I want the love, but I'm not willing to give it. But work. the reality is, love can't. There's just this yeah. this true basic truth that we're not accepting, and that yeah. is that love can't flow unless I'm willing to yeah. feel my own emotions. Mm. And and we still feel that as a punishment. Mm. We feel like God's punishing us. Yeah. Like forcing us into feeling all these bad emotions yeah. and, not, and I'm earning the process. When the reality is, the only reason why we've got to do it this way is because our own emotions mm. prevent love from entering us. Mm. So, you know, there's still some false beliefs inside of us, mm. often mm. emotional. Yeah. yeah, intellectually we don't think we think that, but mm. emotionally yeah. we have quite often very different uh, points. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just look at one, one more. This is a custard apple. Like custard apple? No. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. It's um, it's looking pretty good. It's looking pretty healthy, isn't, isn't it? it? Yeah. A little bit of heat damage down below because yeah. this shroud yeah, probably yes, needs to come off. Yeah. Got lady so you've got the lady beetle on it. Yeah. Lady beetle on it. Yeah. So it's a good sign. Very good sign. And um, can I just make a comment about good bugs versus what we call bad bugs? Right. My, in my opinion, they're all good bugs. Um, but the bugs that actually assist the process of the plant um, are going to attra be attractive to the plant when the plant is healthy. If the plant is not healthy, the bu those bugs give up the process. They say, well, that's not healthy anyway. No matter what I do, it's not going to get any healthier. <laughs> so the bugs go to something else that's healthy. So, so can you see how, again, our soul is affecting what bugs even will assist the process compared to what bugs will destroy the process. Now, the bugs that destroy the process are saying, all right, this plant's unhealthy. It's good food. We might as well polish it off, you know, because it's unhealthy anyway. It's going to die anyway. We might as well use it while it's on the way out, right? And so that's why a lot of the so-called bad bugs attack the plant. So in this case, uh, the plant's a little bit of heat damage at the bottom. We need to take the shroud off. It's feeling a bit constrained. Uh, so we need to sort that out. But there's occasional holes in the leaves. Can you see that? Mm, yeah. Just one or two little holes yeah. in the leaves. Yeah. And some munching. You want to come up a bit closer in that yeah. so we can... So let's look at some positive feelings with the plant, firstly. Uh, resilience. Is a, a positive emotion. Yeah. Um, Resilience? Yeah. The, the In the joy, face of adversity or the anything? The joy of getting to the other side. Yeah. 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 And the renewed trust in that process. Yeah. There's too much water. Yep. And particularly during the wet. Yeah. Too much water and um, the catchment is too wide. Yep. It needs to be smaller. So and in fact, we need to. What we need to do is fix it up so that Drag the water will yeah, drain a off. bit. Mm. Yep. So I'd go for a bit more mulch, but a bit of more drainage. Yep. So take a bit of the swirl out on each side. And oh, not on each side. Right. I'd let the water pass right, through. Right through. Yeah, you mm -hmm. want the water to come through, but let it come out the other end and. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our, our bananas have probably got too much water there too. We crammed down here when it was wet and no joke, the water was so deep you were down to your ankle walking through water basically mm. all through here, even though it's on a slope. Mm -hmm. like, Does, that, yeah. Does that mean it's got a, um, a layer of rock somewhere that the water's running on top of? There's a layer of clay here, clay here. yeah, mm -hmm. layer of clay. So I have a question. Fire. In case it's raining and raining and raining and flooding and raining, wouldn't that affect also the plant, even your sort of condition is... Uh... It can do, obviously, and, and obviously um, in the future what will happen with our climate is our climate will become a, a lot less severe. So remember I said on the weekend how due to the Earth's axis that we're in 22 and a half degrees, mm. that creates huge severities or differences in temperature between the poles and the equator, and that's what creates a lot of our huge... Uh, severity in weather systems. Once the poles right and become more upright again, then obviously we'll have far less severe weather systems. We have much more consistent rainfall, but also consistent sunshine, 
it's going to make everything grow really well. Um, so we'll have a lot less harsh conditions in the future for growing.